my name is Professor Savelo Jainlo Vokajeni. I'm the head of uh, Achimafeje Research Institute at the University of South Africa. Uh, phenomenology of uncertainty is a concept which actually captures uh, the situation whereby we live in a world where we see we can't see a good future. We live in a murky present uh, and uh, the future is mysterious. Uh, but from a, a decolonial perspective, we are actually trying to invent a future beyond the Euro-North American-centric uh, modernity. And the future we are looking at, we are envisioning, is a pluriversal future in which all identities will be given equal uh, recognition. There will be no hierarchization of people's ontologies in terms of race. Uh, the uncertainty is manifesting itself at many levels. At the multilateral institutions, even at UN, at the African Union level, at uh, the world trade level, you will find the uncertainty. There is a lot of debates about what future are we creating. It is also manifesting itself at um, the realm of knowledge, where we are not very sure whether the Euro-North American knowledge is actually carrying us into a stable future. There is a, a, an existing uh, epistemic break. The knowledge looks like is exhausted and we will need to actually mobilize knowledge from Latin America, knowledge from Africa, knowledge from Asia, knowledge from the rest of the world to actually enrich and rescue the human uh, experience. One of the most um, talked about contribution of Africa to knowledge is what in South Africa we call Ubuntu, a humanism, whereby we don't look at people in terms of their color, we don't look at people in terms of their sex, uh, we don't look at people in terms of their class, but we actually look at people as human beings. And uh, we believe that once we look at people that way, then we can actually invent another ethical world in which people will coexist without one exploiting the other. The linkages in terms of knowledge between uh, Latin America and Africa is uh, visible at many levels. I think in the first place, the experience of Latin America, the colonial experience, uh, actually links uh, Latin America with Africa, particularly the first linkage being a very unfortunate one, the, 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 the linkage uh, built on the slave trade with the people being transported from Africa into, into the Americas to work in the plantations. And that actually creates an, a common experience and a common struggles, which actually speaks to decolonial knowledges. As we say, decolonial knowledge is actually produced in struggle. So with the slave revolts, that begins the, the first uh, signs of decolonial knowledge is produced in struggle. And uh, to me, that is, that is the first connection. The second connection is at the, at the theoretical level. Uh, as you could see from the book and the article, uh, I used a lot of uh, Latin American theories, uh, Quiano, Anibal Quiano, the Peruvian sociologist, uh, the Argentinian semiotician, uh, Walter Di Mignolo, and, and many others. We actually share a common understanding that the Euro-North American knowledge is actually exhausted and we need to uh, excavate the subjugated knowledges, the knowledges which have been displaced by colonialism, those which actually experienced what we call epistemicides, the killing of existing indigenous knowledges, decoloniality in Latin America and Africa is trying to actually excavate those and put them in the, into, into the center of the academy. Thinking from the South uh, comes from a, a very simple um, slogan which says, I think from where I am. Uh, I can only stand up where I'm seated. Uh, what it then means is that uh, uh, the people of Latin America, the people of the Caribbean, the people of Asia, the people of Africa 
if they want to produce relevant knowledge, they actually must think from where they are. Colonialism's major problem was that it tended to want us to think from New York, from Washington, from Brussels, from London, while physically we were still located in our locales. But with the decoloniality, we are thinking the best way is to think from where we are. In other words, we are privileging what we call experiential knowledge. That is knowledge which we experienced as we journey across the world. Thank you.